Hello everybody and welcome back to Emily's Upcycle Tome. To shop my items, please click on the links in the comments. Follow me on my business page and that link will be in the description. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. We're going to jump in here to project number one and I'm going to create with you guys here this pumpkin. Now, this fabric here came from a dress that I had in my closet and it was time to get rid of it but I decided that it would make a cute kind of cottage core kind of fabric pumpkin style now I didn't put any separating twine I'm not sure if I'll go back and do that but right now this is what I have so first of all what I did is I went ahead and cut a piece of fabric from that dress and this is pillow stuffing and I'm just separating it and um, kind of working it through with my hands so that I come up with the form that I like. Now, I do have a sewing machine, but I did not feel like bringing that out today. So there is a little zipper there that I took off. And once again, I'm just coming back in and fluffing this piece, the filler. And then I'm gonna come in here with my hands and I'm just going to kind of um, start gathering that fabric at the top and kind of, you know, giving it little pleats here and there and going around and working that fabric just to get the measurements here. And all this excess here that you see, I'm going to go ahead and cut that off with some scissors and then, um, you know, save that scrap piece of fabric, I guess, for another project here. Now I'm going to repeat that step of gathering the fabric since now I have my measurement here. And um, I cut this very raw, this fabric piece. So there is some fabric pieces that were a little bit too short, but you'll see in the end that I end up gluing those pieces down to keep them into place. Now once again, I just gather up that fabric, you know, giving it some pleats here and there. And then I'm going to come in here with my rubber band and I'm just gonna um, tie the top of this piece here giving it a firm hold and I'm just gonna take that rubber band and just go over it and around the fabric as many times as I can now I'm just working in the fluff at the bottom and you know kind of pulling that piece out and we're gonna come in with my scissors and trim off all the top excess fabric pieces and toss them in the trash and I'm just going to trim it all the way around you know kind of forming a stem even though I'm going to add a wood stem you want you want a like nice and neat top here and then after all that is trimmed up I'm going to come in and kind of fluff this piece as well and um, tighten that rubber band like if you did a ponytail and pull the fabric apart so it tightens and tightens that rubber band and makes a more st snugger fit to the um, top. So I'm gonna come in here and create some pleats on our pumpkin. And I'm just pulling in and tucking the fabric at the bottom and in on the sides all the way around, just pulling my fingers, putting my fingers into the fabric and making a little groove there. And then I'm going to come in with my hot glue gun and secure those pleats that I just created in. Now, I'm going to come in and just repeat that same process, hopefully waiting for my glue to dry a little so I don't burn myself again. But I'm going to just continue with those pleats and, you know, sticking my hands into the fabric, forming that pleat, and then tucking in the excess fabric underneath and then adding that glue. Sometimes, 
So here I'm going to add the stem and I'm just going to use my hot glue gun again and just apply the stem to the top, adding a little bit to the fabric of the base. Now here I'm just squishing down that stem and like pulling out um, the pillow stuffing so that it forms into more of the pumpkin. And I was thinking about going in and adding a thumbtack to the bottom or some kind of attachment to where the fabric and the stem can pull together from the bottom to the top. So it gives more of that um, fuller look. But I did not do that. That'll probably be on another pumpkin video, I guess. Now here, I'm just going to go in and add that twine and tighten it up so that... Um, once again, I have a secure hold on all that top area there. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some of our greenery. And if you're looking for this greenery, it's at Hobby Lobby in like the bush section with the bigger stems. And you see me use this piece a lot. And if you're interested in that product, I do get that at Hobby Lobby. Now here I'm just gonna come in with a simple little tag that I have, my little stash here of tags. And I'm going to pick this like ledger one out with some little peach colored flowers on it. And because the tag's a little too big for the pumpkin, I'm going to go ahead and trim it. I'll go ahead and attach that tag to the string and tie a bow. And here we are with these little cottage core style kind of pumpkins. Um, let me know what you guys think of these two in the comments. For project number two, I'm going to take some wicker rounds here that I got from, I believe, Target. And these were in the dollar spot. So, you know, they're probably $1 to $5. And these are probably more the $5 range here. And they're plant. It's a plant hanger, I believe. And I see pumpkins here. And I've had these in my stash for a while. So I don't know if they still have them at Target anymore. But I'm going to come in and I'm going to take out all the strings to the pumpkins, I mean to these stands, and I'm going to make them into pumpkins. Now I'm not going to add too much to them because I do like that natural look with the wood and the, is this even a wicker or what is this called you guys? Let me know in the comments of that um, material. And I'm just going to add the stems on with hot glue and just firmly hold in place while the glue sets for me here. And um, then I'm going to come in and add um, our greenery. And I'm doing this step first because I'm right here at this stage. I really don't know what these are going to form into. I just see a pumpkin here for this season coming up. And once again here I come in with that same greenery and I'm going to go ahead and hot glue that to each pumpkin as well. So now that we have our attached greenery here, I'm going to come in and work on the center. And I'm going to come in with some IOD um, transfers here. And these are from the pot transfers packet. And I'm just going to come in with this tool here because I lost my tool that comes with these. And I'm just using the back of my brush here to get that um, transfer onto them. And my IOD transfers I get off of Etsy and there's different sellers on Etsy that you can choose from. I can't remember the person that I would choose from before the IOD, but I'll try to link that if I could find it. And then on the second one, I'm going to go ahead and add this other label in here. Now you're going to see me come in with some wording back on the first one that we did because I want... Um, they look a little offset with this one having the wording at the top and the other one not having the wording. So I go ahead and add some wording to that larger round piece. So here is where I just piece 
some wording uh, from another transfer onto the bottom of this bird design here. And I just think that the wording adds a little bit more balance to the pieces. And then I'm going to come in with the Distressing Ink and the color Walnut. And I'm just going to go around the edges of the pumpkins and give them a little bit more age and contrast on the, around the edges. Now these tools here, along with that ink, you can find on Amazon, as well as getting them at Hobby Lobby if you have one in your town. And I'm just going to continue to blend in that Distress Ink and... I'm going to repeat that process for both of them. Now to finish off the look of these pumpkins, I'm going to go ahead and come in with my twine and we're going to tie a knot and a bow to the top of these. And then these projects will be finished. Let me know what you guys think of these two in the comments. Did I hit it or did I miss it? So we're going to jump into project number three, and these are fabric pumpkins again. Now I'm going to come in with the leftover um, fabric that I had from our first pumpkins here. And I have these metal rounds here, these wreath rounds I got, I think, from the Dollar Tree like a while ago too. I found them in my stash. Now here I'm just playing around with the fabric. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap the fabric all the way around the ring the metal ring and give me and using my hot glue gun I'm just going to attach the ends of each strip that I put on here and I'm just going to rip the fabric here starting out with my scissors and cutting a little piece and then continuing on with pulling apart the fabric and ripping the strip off of the the piece that I have there and I'm just going to go ahead and repeat this process until I have the whole ring completed So here is where I'm going to come in with that same greenery from Hobby Lobby and attach it to the um, fabric of this round here. And I'm just going to attach it with some hot glue, gun, hot glue once again using my hot glue gun. And then I'm going to come in with this rose lace here and I'm going to attach it once again to the back and have that be our backing here. And I'm going to just put hot glue around the ring and then I'm going to trim off the excess of the lace here. And um, I didn't want it to be an empty hole. So I went ahead and put the lace, the rose lace here. Now you can easily add a picture to the inside of this piece. I think that would be a cute idea. I didn't add it for this piece, but you know, just the thought here, if you guys purchase these and you guys can put some vintage photos in there or your own photos and attach them to the backing of the lace. So here I am just trimming off that excess, like I said, and then we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna add our little embellishments with the same wooden stems using the hot glue gun, some twine, and then come in with a little um, music sheet tag. And then this project will be finished. And um, let me know what you guys think of these one. Is it a hit? Is it a miss? Or is it like, oh my god, Emily, what did you just create? So here's where I come with in with that music sheet tag. And then I have these little eye... Um, transfer butterflies that I'm going to add to the tags and I make one for each one and I don't remember where I got the butterfly transfers but I think they're Prima packet but I'm not sure and now let's go ahead and show off our finished products
Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.